Most people don't know when to stop. They take their last dime, their last $25, their last 25 cent, and they put it in the machine to try to get back, and I've done that. I've gambled all the way to where I just had change, and I was like, okay, cash is changing, and I'll turn it into $2, and then took $2 back in, maybe I can get that money back. And that's when you, you know that it's, it's hit you pretty hard. Uh, or when you go and you borrow more money, you go to a payday loan place or something, and, or a pawn shop, and you go and you pawn your computer, and then you go get the money, and you go right back to the casino. And like I said, I gotta go to plan B. Plan B was now, I've lost a total of $1,000, $1,040 uh, $1, I've lost. I'm not very happy with that. Not only have I lost the money, but I lost two computers. And now I'm getting ready to go lose my camera and my, uh, not lose it, but uh, get a loan on it. And one of these days I'm hoping that maybe I will hit it big. Maybe I will be able to win uh, $15,000 or something like that to that where I can just, you know, pay a lot of bills off and, and, and get back on track, you know? But uh, right now, very difficult so the time right now is 409 in the evening so we've been out for a couple hours now I got off of work at 1 o'clock that's the super pond facility right here located in Las Vegas it's one of them a lot of people come in here and you know pond their whirly goods and whatever but uh, I'm coming in here to see what I can do at the same time my name is Tony McDo um, I'm from California 46 years old. I've been living out here for seven years. I got involved with gambling uh, and it kind of took me down. The last seven years, I spent probably about $35,000 or, or more. Now I know why people go out and kill themselves. Now I know why people go and do the things they, that, they, that they do. And I never experienced that until I started gambling going through that process. I started recording myself, uh, looking at the losses, looking at the, the wins, and uh, a lot of losses. It's a visual recorder. I use it like a diary. So, you know, just recording myself was a, a way for me to look at myself and go, hey, you know what? You know, that was real stupid, what I did. Um, I would record myself going to pawn shops, to the casino, back to the pawn shops, supporting my habit. So now I just want to share my story with you. And this is my story. <music> cash out button right here. Bam. As you see, I'm cashing out $565. How I got hooked is just basically I put $5 in and I ended up winning like $80 and I was like, wow, this is free money. Eventually, the more money I made, the more money I would put in the machines. I started off with maybe $5. I started putting in hundreds. I started putting in thousands of dollars. I will try to count it out to you. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That's basically how I got hooked. You know, from five dollars on penny machines, from penny machines to spending thousands of dollars. I thought that would be a way of paying off all my debts, you know, paying all my bills. Found out that wasn't the way. 70, 71, 72, I mean, they're blowing the horn at me. I'm trying to get it all of it. Here at the Palms, only here at the Palms can you win like that, you know. Sometimes, like I said, sometimes you can lose, but it uh, feels good right now. It's like you're getting high. And I'm not, kind of, I'm not the kind of person to get high. I really can't um, compare it. But I would say it's like a feeling of getting high where you just, you, you're you on cloud nine and you can, no one can tell you that, hey, what you're doing is, is wrong. My sister brought me out here and I was going through a divorce. So I was kind of down. The divorce was hard. After I got to Vegas, Vegas uh, kind of washed it away. If I have money, I'm definitely going to spend it. I feel like you should enjoy yourself, you know, not just stack it up. Spot. What are the odds? I've never computed them, Captain. Well, they're astronomical, believe me. There I am, Tony from Kelly, once again at my favorite machine. It's called Max Action. When you win, that dude right there, he hooks up with the girls. I feel like I put all this money in, and over the period of years, it's going to pay off. I'm going to get it back. I just felt like I just wanted to keep on going until I, I got what was due to me. Uh, 30 times, 30 times 2. Uh, 
just got out the palms. I've been in there for, I don't know, about 30 minutes, maybe a little longer. But uh, I end up losing. Sometimes it happens, like I said. I end up losing my money. And uh, I have $47. Um, end up putting it in the machine. When I lose, I do not want to make a videotape. I don't want nobody to know. And that's what most people do, and they kind of bury it. And what it does, it, it causes um, uh, it causes you to be depressed, you know? And I'm trying not to be depressed. Uh, I gotta keep on going. Getting back in the van, through the uh, passenger side once again. The driver's door isn't opening correctly. I don't want to break the handle all the way off. You know, sometimes it works and sometimes it doesn't. So I just decided, since I bought the van, not to even use that handle, not to even use the driver's side at all, except for, uh, except for getting out. So I'm in the van, boom. And all I needed was about 75 bucks because I needed to pay, uh, you know, half of my electric bill or whatever. So it looks like I'll be uh, picking up about another 200 bucks. I'm gonna take uh, one of my computers in, the Super Pine. And that's one of the things I didn't want to have to do, but you know, when you don't have enough, you gotta do what you gotta do, you gotta compensate. Bear with the event cinematography. You know, I consider the pawn shop my bank. It's a bank for people that didn't have very good credit. Between the payday loan and the pawn shop, those were my two major places because I didn't have credit. And those places offer me, you know, substantial amounts of money. There's my uh, uh, mini controller and there's my other one. All right, we're back. The another, another transaction with you, sir. None of my merchandise is stolen or anything like that. It's my own merchandise and um, everybody knows me. So. They said, hey, you're a real good customer. And they know I have put thousands of dollars in this in this, uh, in this this organization. And when you need a loan, this is what you do. I got 200 bucks, bam. You know, there's people that go in there and spend, you know, $20, whatever. And they're, they just go in there and they do it as a, uh, a fun thing. If you go in there and you do it as a fun thing, I mean, it, it, sure, you can have fun with it. But I didn't treat it. I started treating it as a money-making system. And I thought that it was going to be a money-making system for me. I didn't want to. I didn't look at it as being fun anymore. I'm having a good day at the bus stop. It's all about enjoying the, enjoying life. And um, beautiful day today, ain't it? Vegas sucks. Huh? Vegas, Vegas sucks. sucks. <laughs> you live here, it sucks. Can I interview you? Go for it, go for it. Tell me a little bit about it. The city doesn't want to pay enough to survive in here. You barely make check by check. Try not to gamble too much if you live here because you're going to be broke. you gotta be, you got to have a lot of willpower to even survive in this damn city. What's your name, man? This is Paul. From Ohio. I'm Tony. Nice to meet you, man. I'm from Sacramento. Toledo, Ohio. Okay. So you, basically, you're saying it's, uh, it, can, it can suck you dry if you don't, uh, if you you don't know, manage your money. If you don't manage your money. Exactly, that's the whole thing. That's what I'm... I'm you get addicted to that freaking gambling bug, which is exactly true. That's all I gotta say. Alright, thanks a lot. Right. Vegas, come have fun, but don't try to live here. Meeting other gamblers and meeting other people out there, it was a sort of a deterrent. You know, they, they told me, hey, Vegas was built on people spending their money, and I didn't believe that. I, I believe that, you know, you can come out here and you can really win some money. You know, I've seen stories of people winning $50 million or $100 million in, you know, in machines, and, and they had them posted up in the casino, all these pictures of these people that won. My day is going to come. When is my day coming? It's coming soon. But i got to continue. I can't go by what everyone is telling me out here in Las Vegas. The money that I spent yesterday was ridiculous. It was kind of stupid to go in there and do that yesterday. You know, theoretically, I could just say, you know what, I'll just leave that in there and I'll just uh, go home for today. But I got a feeling, I got a pretty good feeling that I'm gonna hit something today. This is what I try not to do. I tell myself I'm not gonna do, but this is something that Las Vegas people do. They say they're not gonna do it. Maybe they start off with just a little bit and the more you make, the more you spend. And uh, right now I've already spent like $800 yesterday. Uh, today, I'm going to try to get some of that money back. I am going to get some of that money back. I shouldn't even say the word try. I, I used to go with my cousin and I used to go with um, my sister and they would tell me, stop, you're, doing, you're okay, you know, cash out, cash out. You got 150 bucks, whatever, cash out. And I'd be like, no, it's not enough. You don't know what I lost. You don't know what I lost. I got to get this money back. So it's almost, it's almost like a crack addict. <laughs>
<laughs> I guess you would say, you know, you, you got to have it. You got to keep on going because in your mind, you know, it's not enough. Um, in someone else's mind, you know, they're like, hey, you're, you're okay. You're, you're at a good level. You got $200 in the machine. You know, get out of here. And they're like, no. I'm like, no, I'm not going to get out of here. I got to get more. I got to get that money back. I just lost $700, you know, but they don't know that. And even if they do know that, they're going to tell you, hey, you know what? You just lost $700. Take, take your loss and get out of here. So it's one of those things where you can't, almost can't control it. Well, it didn't happen. And I'm losing the 240. I'm out of here. I'm gonna go home. Looks like I might be bringing the camera back over Super Pond. I'm gonna go pay this bill. I have no choice. Go give me 100 for that. And then I'll take all my tripod in. Go give me 100 for that. So it's 200 bucks. Looks like I'm gonna be taking the camera in. I'll show you what it looks like. I don't wanna take it in. That's my baby, but I gotta do it. I'm gonna take the camera in the tripod. They're gonna give me 200 bucks for that today. Most people don't know when to stop. They take their last dime, their last $25, their last 25 cent, and they put it in the machine to try to get back, and I've done that. I've gambled all the way to where I just had change, and I was like, okay, cash this change in, and I'll turn it into $2, and then took $2 back in. Maybe I can get that money back. And that's when you, you know that it's, it's hit you pretty hard. Uh, or when you go and you borrow more money, you go to a payday loan place or something, and, or a pawn shop, and you go and you pawn your computer, and then you go get the money, and you go right back to the casino. And like I said, I gotta go to plan B. Plan B was now, I've lost a total of $1,000, $1,040 uh, $1, I've lost. I'm not very happy with that. Not only have I lost the money, but I lost two computers. And now I'm getting ready to go lose my camera and my, uh, not lose it, but uh, get a loan on it. And one of these days I'm hoping that maybe I will hit it big. Maybe I will be able to win uh, $15,000 or something like that, so that where I can just you know, pay a lot of bills off and, and, and get back on track, you know? But uh, right now, very difficult so the time right now is 409 in the evening so we've been out for a couple hours now I get off of work at 1 o'clock that's the super pod facility right here located in Las Vegas it's one of them a lot of people come in here and you know pond their whirly goods and whatever but uh, I'm coming in here to see what I can do at the same time there it is and there's the tripod I will be back to get it next week and here I am at the Super Pond facility. Later on, I got into title loan. Title loan is where you put a you pawn your car. So I did that. If you continue with it, continue to use that system and think that the casino is going to give you that money back to pay those guys, that's where you're wrong. And that's where I made my mistakes, thinking that the casino was going to give me that money, pay back the pawn shop, and I'm losing a lot of my uh, my valuables. Like I said, they just gave me 200 bucks. No questions asked emergency money if you need it and right now it was an emergency money right now I'm gonna head back to the palms I don't want to really head back to the palms I'm, I'm starting to hate the palms more and more I'm actually embarrassed most of the time when I don't hit anything when I lose my money like I lost the money today I lost money yesterday I'm very embarrassed I'm spraying this water on my face right now this is very embarrassing but hey I don't have air conditioning but once again I've got Tony from Cali's Astro Van Air Conditioning. <laughs> That's what I wrote on the bottom. Tony from Cali's Astro Van Air Conditioning. So, without this bottle of water right now, I don't know if I would be able to, I would probably pass out. I had co-workers and friends to tell me to don't go, and I would go back and I'd spend the money, and I would lose it, and then I'd go back to work, and then the co-workers say, did you go? And I'd go, I would just feel lower and lower and lower and lower because I didn't want to tell them. And a lot of times I would lie to them and tell them, no, I didn't go, and I really did go, so. It was it was a, a moment to where you start lying to people, you start um, covering up your your mistakes because you don't want people to look at you a certain way. Tomorrow I might have two dollars in my pocket, I might have fifty cent, and I'm just surviving. I'm just you know still trying to survive like everybody else. Sometimes I do stupid stuff, stupid things. Sometimes I do uh, things that are kind of cool. But it's life, you know. I'm not gonna go out and kill myself and hang myself. Although I've thought of that because of some of the things I've done. You know, you want to beat yourself up. You want to. You know, you want to crucify yourself, but you know, you can't do that. So here we are at the ponds once again. This is the second time arriving here. I arrived here with $240 earlier. I spent the 240. We're gonna come back over here, basically try to find a parking spot and get back into our same uh, routine, except for losing.
unsuccessful. I actually doubled my money. Actually, I got up to like 198, but um, end up spending it back in the machine. Uh, got greedy, started spending 150, spending dollar fifty instead of 60 cent. Uh, I was playing 90 cent, and that's when I actually hit. So I'm out of here. That's pretty much it for me. I barely got enough gas to go home now. You know, there's a gas gauge. I'll show you what it looks like. Okay, I had 600 bucks today, basically. And now I'm down to. I got some change in my ashtray, you know. I didn't count the change in my ashtray, but uh, I'll just show that for the record, you know. I keep everything real. Got some change in the ashtray. Probably got about, I don't know. I got some change in the ashtray, and I think I got some more change I found yesterday. And one of my uh, one of my uh, computer uh, bags. So it all boils down to that. That's it. That's it for me. You know, that's it for me today. You know, sometimes people, they bottom out at a certain level. And I bottom out today. I got a couple other pennies, but they're stuck in my ashtray, and that's how I keep it. They're stuck in my ashtray. I sprayed some water in there. It's stuck because I had some candy or something in there. And I'll do it again just to show you the process. So there's a couple more pennies in there. So to be honest with you, I got probably like 625, 630, somewhere around there, maybe a little bit more. go to the casino you get your paycheck it could be twelve hundred dollars it could be fifteen hundred dollars whatever it is and that's for two weeks and then all of a sudden that that's two weeks of, of work that you worked for and it's to pay a certain bill you gotta pay electricity you gotta pay rent whatever and you lose all that it's so foolish and you can't talk to anybody about it you can't go talk to your mom you can't talk to your children you can't talk to your co-workers um, all you can do is kind of like just curl up and just you feel like you just want to die and I would just come home and just go to sleep I would just, I got a blindfold, put my blindfold on and just kind of curl up, go to sleep. I would pray about the situation. I pray to God and just try to, that God take me away from the situation. I lost about 35000 It would have been nice to win that. And uh, after I looked at it and added it up, it was like, no more. After going through that, I had my fun. I had my greediness. I had my downs, and my losses. And, and now it's like, I don't even want to uh, deal with it anymore. Um, my, my whole concept on gambling is, you know, leave it alone if you don't really need it. Um, and I just, I tell people I don't encourage, you know, not even going and putting in even a couple of dollars because you can get hooked easily. You know, I got hooked on five bucks. I'm now at the point of not gambling anymore. I'm successfully, uh, I've successfully stopped. It's in the past. It's all in the past, but it's an experience. It's something where I can say, you know, I can look back on it. It's going to help me to not go back and do that again. It's a, it's a reference point so I can say, wow, this is where I was, this is where, I'm, where I am, and I'm not gonna go back to that again. I'm not gonna go back to that same level. I'm Tony McDo, and I'm homeless in America. The vehicle is a nice vehicle. It just has some problems. It doesn't run right now, it won't start. Uh, transmission is bad, I think. It doesn't go in reverse. I've been homeless for about three years. And, um, you know, I'm not ashamed of it. I was, you know, I guess, I, you know, we all have a, some type of a, I guess I am ashamed sometimes, you know, but I'm not, you know, things happen. I lost my job, you know, almost three years ago. Um, 2015, I think it was November 2nd, 2015, I happen to remember that, yeah. I lost my job, so I pretty much lost a lot with that. You know, I lost my house, I lost my van, I had a car, I lost a car, I had storages, I lost my storages, and I just, I got some of my belongings. I'm 54 years old, so I've been around for a long time. I've been married, divorced, um, you know, the whole nine yards. Hey everybody, your boy Tony McCallie, I'm back. I just want to say, hey, you're about ready to start my night here. I'm out here in the uh, uh, courtyard of uh, UNLV. 
uh, just to show you what's going on. I got tables in the background. You can see there's absolutely no one here. Okay, no one is here. Uh, they just shut down. They shut down at 11 o'clock. I'm on Wi-Fi right now. I'm using their Wi-Fi, but their Wi-Fi will be good only until midnight. So that's okay. I got plenty of movies to watch, all that kind of stuff. Believe me, I got hard drives. I got like eight terabytes with me right now. So I'll be watching stuff and whatever, chilling. I got the broadcaster parked over there, right behind that pillar right there. So I got it kind of facing in. That way the wind doesn't hit me that much because it's going to get windy. It's definitely going to get windy tonight. So this is a camp out. You know, I never went camping when I was a kid. I never went camping, hanging out. I never slept in tents and things like this. So this is like my adventures, okay? This is Tony from Cali's adventures. And I'm just kind of, this is like camping out. Most guys go out to, uh, they go out to Mount Charleston and they camp out and they uh, put up a tent and light a fire and all that kind of stuff. So this is my way of camping out, okay? This is probably the extent of that. Uh, I'm not trying to sleep on the ground. I'm not trying to uh, be walking around and begging people for food and all that kind of stuff with the uh, signs and all that kind of stuff. I just, you know, I just do my thing. I broadcast. So once again, I'm here and we're gonna do a, a quick uh, food review here. So you guys just bear with my cinematography here for a minute. What I'm eating, we're gonna kind of show this a little bit without me spilling it hopefully, is ravioli. When I talk to other people and I see that a lot of things that other people are going through, you know, it just makes me more thankful, you know. Um, I'm sitting here eating ravioli, boom, bam. Thank you for this meal that I'm eating right now. Thank you for me being able to, my eyesight. Thank you for me being able to talk. Thank you for me being able to hear and be able to smell. We're always thinking about what we don't have. We're thinking, oh man, my scooter broke down, or my car broke down, and this and that, I don't have this, I don't have enough money to pay my insurance or pay my rent. Don't think about what you don't have, think about what you do have. You know, I got blood circulating through my bones right now, blood circulating through my body. Not through my bones, but through my body. I got, I'm not a doctor, but you know, you know what I'm saying. All the things that's happening, my heart's pumping right now, my heart's pumping blood, uh, my lungs is pumping. All this stuff is, is, is happening inside of me, but we take for granted those things that are happening inside of you. So I'm thankful, okay? 54, okay? No, I'm 55. I'm 55. I'm 55. Yeah, I'm looking 55 right now, too. Anybody needs any AB work, you need to call me. You know, 500-4463. That's my number, 702-500-4463. I can do a lot of AV work. And like I said, for the people just turning in, tuning in, and they don't know what I do, computer animation, three-dimensional holographic, digital, video, broadcast, special effects engineer, slash senior audio visual telecommunication specialist, slash broadcaster, not broadcaster, broadcaster, not broadcaster, broadcaster, not broadcaster, on my reality show, born in 1963, all in HD, and my, my name of my channel is HPTV, channel 63.